Welcome to this tutorial on how to evaluate the quality of your custom trained model using Scenario. Now that you've successfully trained your model, let's walk through the process of ensuring it meets your expectations and delivers the results you're looking for. The first thing you should do is start interacting with the model by using various prompts. If you use detailed captions during the training process, you might want to take advantage of the Prompt Spark tool. This feature learns from your captions and can help you generate relevant outputs by providing structured prompts. If not, begin testing the model directly with different prompts, both short and long, to observe how it responds. As you experiment with short prompts, you may sometimes notice some variations in the style of the outputs. This occurs when the model's results shift from the intended style, often due to insufficient detail in the prompts. In such cases, it's helpful to expand your prompt by adding more stylistic elements to guide the results back on track. For instance, include descriptors like flat vector, 3D render style, or stylized illustration, among others, to steer the output towards your desired look. If you're unsure which stylistic tokens to use, try uploading a few of your training images into ChatGPT you can then ask for a concise style description to guide you. Expand your prompt with these suggestions to further refine the style. If your model responds well and the desired style is achieved, you can retain these stylistic tokens in the prompt embedding section for more convenience. However, if the issue persists, there are several options to consider for refining your model. A first option is to retrain the model by removing potentially problematic images or adding new ones that better match the desired style. Alternatively, retrain the model using the best outputs from the first version to enhance quality and solidify the style. When retraining your model, consider adjusting captions, especially if you initially used Scenario's auto captions. SDXL works best with short, precise captions while Flux is more flexible, accommodating long, detailed captions, or even no captions at all, especially if your dataset is large and diverse. In the latter case, longer prompts may be necessary to maintain control over the outputs and achieve the right results. Once you've refined or retrained the model, it's a good idea to compare the model versions side by side. You can easily switch between the two models and generate using the same prompt and seed. This gives you a clear comparison of which version produces more consistent and accurate results. A second option to enhance your model is by merging it with other style-focused models, a process also called multi-LoRa. For example, if you want to shift the style to a comic book look, you can merge your model with bold comic scenes. Alternatively, if you're aiming for a more graphic, flat design, Try merging it with Simple Vector V2. These are just a few possibilities to explore among hundreds. You can choose from our extensive selection of models or exclusively merge your own models to achieve a more customized result. Evaluating and refining your model is an ongoing process of testing, adjusting, and improving. Whether you retrain, adjust captions, or merge models, the ultimate goal is to develop a model that consistently produces high-quality results aligned with your creative vision and training set. By applying these techniques, you'll create a versatile and powerful model that's ready to meet your needs. Don't forget to explore our tutorials on training style models and generating consistent characters, including tips on how to merge models. For more insights on mastering custom models, visit our additional guides and tutorials in the Knowledge Center. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.